All right, what is going on, everybody? We're back with another video for Genshin Impact. Today, we're going to be checking out Theater Mechanics. It's been pretty fun, actually. I just went through my first run, and I highly advise that you make your team, you know, synergize very well. You won't be able to do damage, but, but being able to control, freeze, slow down, anything to your enemies is going to give you an easier time. So I highly advise some of the characters you're about to see me use. All right, let's see. I highly advise characters like Sucrose, Ganyu, if you could put a Hydro character in here like Child, you're going to have a really easy time keeping things frozen in place and things like that. Zhongli is a nice character, but you don't really need him that much. You know, you could use other characters, for example, a Venti. Venti is also pretty nice. Um, I think I'm actually going to run Venti. Um, Chi Chi, a character like Sing Cho, um, Mona. You know, these are characters that are going to help out a lot. Even the Traveler with his Geo... Um, element is going to be very useful in this Kaya. So I highly advise you keep that in mind. Let's go with Venti just for this run. Didn't keep you waiting, did I? And uh, yeah, let's start it off. Some tips that I do want to give guys is be careful when you start the game and you go in and they give you the option to upgrade your towers and pick the modifiers. Don't pick crazy difficult modifiers before you have some good towers out. Another tip is make sure your towers work with the team you have. So if you can generate a lot of like um, electro, maybe put hydro towers and vice versa. All right, so you got to protect these. The enemies are going to be coming from here. Um, I highly advise that the first towers you guys pick are at intersections as it will help out, you know, cover a wider area. You know what I'm saying? So I would go for like these. Then up here, I would probably put something that gives you a little bit more. So right here, Recovery mechan Mechanicus 1 generates bonus Beneficus points for each opponent defeated. So you want to make sure you put this, like, right in the middle, right, where you're going to get your, most of your kills. Um, and then here we have 150 points. So you got to think about this. Let's put it right here because we will only be able to put one, I believe. Yep, we're right out of points, as you can see. We only got 50 and it cost 100. If you upgrade these towers too early on, they're gonna cost more points to put on the field, so you're gonna have a harder time. So don't upgrade them until you actually need to do it. All right, with that, let's kick it off. All right, so enemies are gonna be coming out from those purple portals that you see over there. You see them popping out? If there's any other purple portals, you wanna make sure you got all that on lock. So right now I put an electric tower. Why did I put an electric tower? It's simple. I have good old child. Child will allow me to place these marks on them, will, which will give them the wet status, allowing the um, electro towers to overall deal a lot more damage. And that's what I like about them. I gathered them up with sucrose, as I was telling you guys, and then you just wait it out. That's pretty much what you got to do right now. Here we go. There we go. You just try to keep them all together. It's going to be a while, though, so you just got to, you know, time it out. Try to always keep them up with your, like, your strategy. So my strategy revolves around the hydro element and then pretty much just keeping them in one location, as you can see. I try to keep them here. All right, let's go in. Let's get these guys. Don't ever let this run out on them, for example. You know, I, I understand not everybody's going to have this team, but I really made this team while on stream. I wasn't even thinking about, you know, fully how this was going to be. My first look, I went in with Child and I already had, you know, like my team planned out. So that's pretty much what you want to do. All right, here, let's just keep them all there. Alright, let's get him with this. As I said, you deal no damage, so you can come in here with weak level basic characters and you're going to be good because all you're, you're looking for is what they offer. So if you don't have your child built but you happen to pull one, definitely run him. You see, as you can see, all I'm doing is using their basic abilities, spamming them. Nobody's been able to get past this, so the amount of points that I've been able to gather has been insane, guys, right? There we go. Everything has been killed in this little area, and that's what you guys gotta aim for. You know, you see how we buy time? 
with these characters, that's what you gotta go with. Even the, the Anemo Traveler is gonna be very useful in this situation, just because you're able to stall with them. You know, see, like, right here, if I don't get them with the Hydro thing, they're not gonna take a lot of damage. So that's pretty much what I gotta focus on, and just making them waste their time, you see? Right there. That's pretty much what they're gonna be at. If, I, if that blows up, he's gonna freeze. Watch. Oh, he's dead. There we go. Wave one complete. So what are we going to do now? We get these bonuses. Here's another tip I want to give you guys. You see this fearless thing right here? In the next wave, each escaped monster will result in an additional one point lost. Complete this fearless challenge to obtain additional Benefica sigils at the end of the stage. Guys, if you see this fearless challenge and you're on your first wave, do not accept it. Why do I say this? First off, it's a, a big monster that's going to pop up. You know what I'm saying? And you don't really want, you know, big monsters to pop up, but I would advise that you personally just go straight through. You know what I'm saying? So just focus on the first stage on building your towers. And then on the second stage, you're going to be a lot better, right? So basically a strategy I'm going for here is I want to slow them down, right? I'm using a hydro character. So if I have cryo towers, right, they'll be frozen. And with electro towers, they're going to be dealing more damage. But let's say an enemy breaks through, right? I'm hoping that they don't, but let's say they break through. We got to make sure they're still getting the damage out here. So what we do is we pop this one. Intersections, guys. This tower right here will be able to hit enemies right here and even if they go down here. So it's much better putting this tower here than maybe all the way over here where, you know, it's last resort. So remember, tower positioning is very, very important. All right, so right here we're going with another electro tower there we go and i mean we don't really got more points so let's keep our points like that we, i guess we could put this one here just to give ourselves more points in case enemies slip through that's important as well give yourself more points guys build strategically all right we're about to go in let's get her done and that's pretty much the whole thing you know what i'm saying 400 of these coins very very nice so now we go into the lantern right, and theater mechanics should have a little icon next to it because we did just clear it. And then here you will be able to get even more rewards, guys. It's very important that you guys do this. This is where you're pretty much going to be working on your towers. You're going to be able to upgrade them with the points that you get from your victories. So you will be able to work on these things. I highly advise that you focus on one or two towers that work and synergize very well with the team. So for example, as you know, I'm going to be working on the cryo and I'm going to be working on the lightning and then on the side i'm going to be working on the pyro on the hydro because i think that that's just the best way when we get those cryo mages this will cover it um the pyro is the only thing that i'm a little bit skeptical about because i know i can cover the pyro mages with child but i don't know about this nonetheless i think that being able to freeze with the cryo uh, tower and a hydro um, unit is very good and the same interaction goes with if you're using a hydro unit you're gonna have a good time with your electro towers one more thing guys if you upgrade your towers very high you're gonna have a tough time placing them at the beginning of your of your round so maybe take them to level one or level two level two um definitely take this to level two and they're gonna be more costly so just remember slowly don't try to just win one and then boost everything right away test out how you pretty much do in each one of these rounds so for example i'm gonna level up the electro one right so as you can see we get more attack a lot more attack we we get more um everything pretty much when it comes to what the tower is going to do we don't get more range or attack speed but those do come in the form of bonuses as you're going through the rounds if you happen to get them but the fact that we got more than double the attack will already allow this tower to do more damage the cryo one is very good as well so that's what i'm going to go for and i'm going to leave it right there because i want to see how they perform on the next one maybe this because this one's nice I don't have enough right now, so I'm probably going to go one more round. But as you can see, the level 2, it increases the area of effect, and this gives you more points. That's why I was able to get so much. So that's pretty much the main rundown uh, when it comes to that. Here you can check out the stage features. Like, you'll be able to see different types of stages, which is pretty cool. I really like all these different things that they're adding to it. 
And overall, everything that you're going to be able to get is going to be amazing. There's so much in the store, you know, so I highly advise you get on to doing this event. It's very fun, something totally unique. And then if you go to the Zhao market, you're going to be able to buy things with what you just got. So, you know, there's some amazing stuff in these stores. We got the crown of insight. We got hero switch. And then on the third one, we got a brand new name card that I know a lot of us like. And we got books. So just go out of your way, try the event, it's very fun, and you're gonna have a great time. Now, that's pretty much it for this video. I do hope you've enjoyed it. I'm loving this event. Let me know what you think about this tower defense mode in the comment section below, and make sure y'all hit that like button, subscribe, and check out our playlist. We have tons of videos breaking down the best farming locations, builds, tips and tricks, event guides, and more. Also, tune in for our live streams. We do live streams every other day for Genshin Impact. For now, that's pretty much it. Your boy Death Gun, out.